Join me in this series as I interview London's statues, memorials, reliefs, and other monuments. Discovering London by speaking with statues. Hello and welcome to Park Street Bankside, and today I'm going to be talking to the one and only Mr. William Shakespeare. So, 450 years old now. Don't remind me. <laughs> And more popular than ever. So tell me, what is the secret behind your enduring appeal? Oh, how am I supposed to answer that, you rat catcher? <laughs> in my day, I wrote for everyone in London. From gong farmers to duchesses, from Winchester geese to good Queen Bess. If folk from all walks of life still find things to laugh, cry or think about now, then I've done well. You have, so that begs the question, what are you doing here on this fragment of brewery wall here at Backside, Southwark? This is where Hamlet first held Yorick's school, where Romeo and Juliet shared a secret kiss, and where Mark Antony came to bury Caesar, not to praise him. This is the site of my most famous playhouse, the Globe. Oh, accidentally burnt down by a cannon, then the second one pulled down in the Civil War, right? Hey! <laughs> and across the road, Henslow's Rose, where Titus Andronicus first blooded the stage. So why, why choose Bankside? Lord Mayors of London and the Privy Council hated us. Playhouses were... Nests of the Devil. So we came here. Bankside, gambling dens, alehouses. That's more like it. Still fine sport to be had here today with the new globe, Tate Modern and the Rose Playhouse still going strong. No more bear baiting pits around though, but that's a good thing. Bear baiting? What's that? A horrible blood sport. Also popular around here in my day. Bears versus packs of savage mastiffs. Sometimes bulls were used. Sometimes lions. Sometimes an ape on horseback. How ghastly. Well... Unlike you, that hasn't stood the test of time, thank goodness. Don't relax too soon. Look out! As I said myself, in the Winter's Tale, Act 3, Scene 3, Exit, pursued by a bear. 